What's going on, everyone? Chris Jarzik, your Southwest Florida real estate advisor with MVP Realty, bringing you another home tour video. For today's home tour, I'm going to be taking you through a beautiful four bedroom, three bath, three car garage, golf access pool home here in Cape Coral, Florida, Northwest Cape Coral to be exact. Karen is inside turning on some lights and doing some filming on her own. She'll be helping me with the video so that I'm not doing this and roller coastering you guys around. As usual, I will go ahead and put the specs for the property and price down in the description box below, along with my contact information. Before Karen comes out and starts yelling at me on how to do it, please hit that like and subscribe button to motivate me to bring you more of these home tour and informational videos. Hope you're having an amazing day. I want to thank you for tuning in. Looks like she is on her way out. So I'm going to flip that camera around, let you guys take the tour, and we'll talk with you when the tour is over. Janice from Accounting, are we ready? Let's go. We already did the intro without you, Karen, because we're getting sick of you telling us what to do. Just kidding. Here we are, the beautiful home. Guys, take a look at the tile. It is not the slick white 20 some odd inch tile that I know you love. Let's get right into it. Here we are. This is the third home tour of the day. I might wanna change outfits so you guys think that I do this over multiple days but trade secret i film like three or four of these at a time when i can dining area right here uh pretty decent size you could probably seat maybe six people depending on the type of table you got uh something that we commonly don't see in a lot of these new construction are blinds let alone blinds from the 80s but hey they're blinds nonetheless so we'll take it Coming in, as you can see, big living area, massive, massive counter space here. Keith, I'm sorry, not much in the way of counter space on this side. But we do have a lot of prep area over here, a lot of cabinet space, and a nice pantry set up right here similar to what i have in my house although you guys haven't seen my house maybe i'll home tour my house it's uh no karen's shaking her head no i have to have the kids clean up their rooms are a mess coming on in let's hit our laundry room we've got some wire racks here for storage Washer dryer are not here. That's a good setup though. We can always negotiate something with a washer dryer. Nice slop sink there. And coming on out to our three car garage. And it's just the way I would draw it up. Your third car bay right here. You put your stuff that you're storing, or for me, it would be treadmill that i never treadmill that i never use sorry the wind is kicking up here treadmill weights whatever it may be but i love the epoxy floor and i love that the third bay is on that side they left you some extra tile and sherwin williams paint fun fact i used to paint in between semesters at college and sherwin williams was the brand that we would go to go on that way shout out to my old boss ward who is a good friend and client as well here we have bedroom number uno or numero uno with your 1980s blinds but they are blinds guys so i would keep them just until i got some new ones closet here there we go. Do have some wire racks in there. 
decent amount of space as you can tell no carpet in here we've got this nice plank tile and look at this gorgeous tile work here with your beautiful glass enclosure and we've got dual sinks for this jack and jill bath i don't know about you guys but i would probably be facing the wall taking a shower i'm not in the best of shape i do not want to be looking at myself in the mirror whilst showering and as i mentioned jack and jill so karen can come on through here we have bedroom number two and this one is a tiny closet not gonna lie to you guys not upselling you on the closet uh, that one is definitely tiny but you can get away with it as a guest coming in here we have bedroom number three give you guys a little bit of a look at the closet and remember, I will put all of the specs down in the description box below. But I know a lot of you guys that watch actually do read on other platforms. They'll be like, what's the price? What's this? What's that? It's down in the description box below. I'm on limited time on some other platforms. Here we have bathroom number two. There's plenty of light. Sorry, but... With that, the fan's blowing. I don't know if audio is picking that up or not. Single vanity with your toilet there. And I don't know if Karen caught it. Glass enclosure, similar like similar to the other uh, guest bathroom. Uh, same tile, but very nice tile work. Floor to ceiling. I do love that. Let's go on through into the living area again. <clears throat> Plenty of room for large TV and your stereo surround sound movie setup. However you guys do it, uh, do it big so that you can enjoy those movies and listen to that music while you're entertaining in this large space. Coming into the primary. In your primary, they give you your own fridge so you don't have to go to the kitchen. Just kidding, this is meant to be in the outdoor kitchen. We'll get to that. We've got a transom, as you guys have seen, that's becoming pretty popular. Instead of two windows side by side, they're going with the transom. That allows you to put a larger bed in. It doesn't overlap the windows. My house has a window here and there, and I have a limited space with the bed that I can put because it'll cut the size, cut the windows off. And you do have a tray ceiling. Coming on in, we have his and hers closets. Wire racks in there. Pretty good size. Looks that this one is slightly smaller. If you need measurements, go ahead and shout that out in the comments and I will take care of that for you. Here we have the beautiful tub, unlike the other tubs we've seen in a lot of the videos, this one they elected to build a box around. Uh, it does kind of take up a little bit more space, as you can see, definitely works. Let me unclog that drain there. But it does add a, take away a little bit of space here with this box being built. Vanity on your right. So the lady of the house can do her makeups when you take her out to that fancy dinner. Don't forget those anniversaries, fellas. Oh, actually, there's a, another setup here. So you can do your hair, gentlemen. All, it takes us, what, five minutes to get ready usually? But would you want to get out of this shower quickly? Look at this bad boy. Uh, another pet peeve of mine. We do not have it. I would put a light there and a light there and do a rain shower. If you guys like a rain shower and it doesn't have it, let me know. I'll try to figure out a way to get one in there, throw in a closing gift for you. But here we have your wonderful shower. Perfect to get clean. Uh, you can go that way now, Karen, sorry. Cut Karen off, she can't go through the full walk around, but she can meet me on the other side to show you 
a toilet that you've never seen. Oh, no, that's the same toilet that you always see. Pretty much standard, guys. Is it an American standard? That would be even funnier. We've got the dad jokes today. Oh, and I almost forgot. We've got a small linen closet for you to put your washcloths and towels, maybe store some extra deodorant, shave gel, body wash, etc. It's another good thing about being a guy, body wash, we can do it all with one product. Clean the house, clean the car, hair, everything. All right, hold on here, fellas. Oh, our folks, not fellas. I know a lot of my watchers, or a lot of channel subscribers are male. All right, let me close that up. We do have hurricane impacts all around. Back here, they did opt to go with the speckle non-stick versus doing pavers all the way through. Beautiful outdoor kitchen. A lot of counter space out here. We've got a beautiful bowl grill. Plenty of room. You can easily fit. I'm going to say 36 burgers, depending on the ounces on that one. I make mine six ounces to start, sometimes seven. They usually cook down. They lose a little bit. Uh, what do we got here? We've got some storage space here. And these are usually built, guys, with uh, Dora rock, not sheet rock. I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. <clears throat> and then they stucco them or do the finish over top. Uh, let's go take... Everyone out too. I think we're going to go out to the dock. Let's give you a shot of the pool area here. No sun shelf here, but you've got pretty decent sized pool. This one's one of the longer ones that we've seen. Not so much width wise, but you do have a good amount of space under truss here. You've got set up for a TV, plenty of lighting, very good lanai size here. And without falling and going viral for that. Let's go on out to the dock area. Here we have your composite wood dock and your 10,000 pound boat lift. Brand new, as you can see, ready to rock. You could fit your probably 27-ish foot or so boat, maybe a 30, depending. Oh, and my favorite, the Tiki Hut. Smells brand new. They just did it. It's starting to kind of fade over. After a while, it will turn brown, but it's halfway there now. So you've got a Tiki Hut. This is part of your Florida outdoor living area. If you have questions about the access, how you're getting out to the river, and since we're in the northwest, you're not going to be heading to, say, Sanibel, Fort Myers, usually up here. There's a little bit of a different spot you go to, which is Kea Costa State Park, but I can do a video on that, or I can explain that uh, a little bit more in the com or not in the comments, but in the description, or if you want to learn about it, give me a shout, and I can kind of explain but if you do have questions regarding the bridge heights or this canal depth and the time to get out to the river in Kea Costa, throw it in the comments below and I will definitely get to that. I think I'm running out of fun things to say, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's home tour video. As always, if you could hit that like and subscribe button, I would greatly appreciate it. If you have questions about this property, real estate in Southwest Florida, sorry, bird. If you have questions about this property, any other properties on the channel or real estate in Southwest Florida, feel free to give me a call or shoot me a text. I am Chris Jarzik, our Southwest Florida real estate advisor with MVP Realty. Thank you for checking out today's video and I'll see you on the next one.